G'day guys, welcome back again. Uh, today I'm doing something that I have previously seen on YouTube. I think everyone's probably seen these ladies profile with the, a swipe to make the pretty hair. Uh, I haven't done one before so I thought I'll give it a go. Why not? Right, so the first thing I've done is I have just printed out um, a lady's profile and I just got onto Google and I searched clip art uh, ladies profile. So that's what that one is. Uh, let me just mark my canvas before I start moving it. Uh, yes, yeah, so I printed it out, cut it out. So just pick one that looks pretty simple. You don't want it to be too, too difficult. Um, now with my, my little pencil here, I'm just going to mark out the outline of it. Move it down a little bit. I can paint the background later on, but today I'm just going to draw the face on and um, get the swipe done. So bear with me while I just do this. And I know there's other ways of doing this. You can stick a stencil on. Um, what else have I seen? Different ways of doing it. I'm just going to draw it on. Trace around my little face here. Now I'm not sure what I'm going to do about these eyelashes because they're... I'll draw them on and then I might just change them later because they're separate eyelashes. I did like that look but I think it might be a bit difficult to actually uh, draw one. Now this goes across here but I'm just going to sort of take it up like that just to finish it off somehow. Like that. She can have big hair can't she? Alright, so that's it there. Uh, now, I have made up my paint. I'm using Floetrol and Global Paints. And I'm using 2.5 parts of Floetrol to one part of paint. So I've just got a little brush here and my black paint. This is what I'm going to swipe with. And I'm just going to go over this line. Sorry if this is going to take a little bit of time. This is going to be the, the more tedious bit, I guess. Going over my outline. I'll try and go as fast as I can. But I do want a pretty pour, so I don't really want to ruin it. I should put that there so I don't drip onto my white space. So later on, I might... I haven't chosen a colour yet, but I'll wait until the actual pour is dry uh, before I paint this section here. So for now, just going to put some black in here. There's the lips. And again, don't worry too much about this edge at the moment. You can always touch that up later on. Just getting that basic outline for the sake of where to swipe today. Right, now those little eyelashes, those are going to be tricky. This is actually three there. Might just leave it as one for the sake of today. Because using this thick paintbrush, well, it's not that thick, but it's it's relatively thick. They have a bit of a curve there just so it's not totally flat. Hair on top. Okay, now what should we do with these? Mm, let's see if I can get in here. It's not really going to look very nice is it if I do that? It's a bit difficult with this thick brush. I'll just leave it like that for now. You get the idea. I can fix it up later on. I think you can tell they're eyelashes, can't you? Put a little bit of paint in there like that. It 
So this black doesn't have any oil in it, no silicone oil in that. Now I'm going to put my gloves on. And today I'm just swiping with this little bit of plastic here. Should just fit that I got from the office supply store. Uh, now I have got two shades of blue, a light and a dark, and two shades of green, light and a dark, and then my black swipe colour. So I thought they might look nice together. And I have got 110 grams of paint in each cup. Um, so I usually do one drop per 30 grams, so it's almost four, so I'll do four drops in each. And I'm using the Coconut Milk Hair Serum for cells today. I do like it in my swipes, but I prefer the treadmill silicone in my flip cups. Oops. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oops, I think that was five. One, two, three, four. It comes out pretty fast, even though I'm not really squeezing it. Okay. Bit of a, a stir up there. Okay, so those are the colours. We have Peacock, that's the light turquoise there. And then this one is um, it's cool blue with a little bit of um, cobalt blue mixed in with it just to lighten it up a bit. My lime is this green, the light green with yellow and then that one's just plain light green so that's it there all in the, the global righty oh where will we put these move them away for a sec now I'm going to pour on some black through here I won't put too much on at the moment I just want to see how far it's going to go. I'll take that up a little bit just to cover those brush marks that I've made. As I said, I will go over later on and just touch them up. I don't want to get too close to the very edge now because I'll probably lose my shape, but just like that. Don't go too far into your picture with the black because when you do swipe, a lot of the black's going to come across anyway, so your, your colours might not start till about there. Um, but I think because it's hair, that's, how's that look? That might be a bit thick actually. I have to take some of that off. Okay. And I'll touch up my edges afterwards. I won't bore you with that at the moment. Right, now, blues and greens, I'm just going to zigzag them up and down. And I do want the light against the, the dark, so I'm going to start that here. I'm just going to like zigzag these up and down. I'm not really going to be able to tilt very much at all, if anything. Uh, because obviously I don't want to tilt this black paint over the lady's face, do I? So, no, don't want to do that. Now, a little bit of blue. And some aqua. Put a little bit of aqua up here. So I want mainly the light green and the light blue to pop and I don't want very much of this green. I think it'll really take over so just a little bit of that, just a thin amount like so. Now let's see how much I can actually tilt without losing her facial features. It's not too bad actually because I, I didn't go right up it to the edge so it should be okay. So I'm just going to tilt this so that I've got paint over the edge and I'm watching this face very carefully. Watch this face. <laughs> Watch this face. Alright, let's move that over. Yeah. 
bit of humour for the morning. Got the day off work today. Rightio, that side's done. Let's do this side. I'll turn it around. And I can check this side here. And I'll go this way just a touch to come over the side here. See how the paint's moving quite quickly? You don't want to leave, leave too much paint on your surface. And I've told you that before. Um, stop when it's running slowly. You don't want too much left on there. Or your cells will all stretch out of shape over the next hour or so. When you're not watching, you'll lose all your cells. Okay, how's that? Oh, I haven't got much green left over here. I have to put a little bit more there, I think. It's a little bit of the lime green just in here. It's all kind of stretched away. A little bit of blue there and a little bit of blue through there. Okay, how's that looking? I think that's looking pretty good. Let's pick up some paint with my little tool here. Doesn't have to match exactly when you're doing swipes. You can just sort of pick up any colour really. Doesn't have to be too matchy matchy. And I do need a little bit of black just going over the edge here. Now I hope I've left enough black on the face to swipe with. I think I have. I'll get that later on when I flip it around because I can't see that side. I might have to just add a little bit of black later on to the up there. I can't see, so I'll leave that for now. All right. Oh, this is exciting, isn't it? Something new. I do like doing things that are new. Well, new to me anyway. I think um, maybe Crafty Jen. Hi, Jen. Uh, maybe she was the first to do this. Not sure. It's the first place I saw it anyway. And I thought to myself, I must try that. That looks like a lot of fun. So thank you to all the lovely pouring artists out there that are giving us lovely inspiration. Now, I just want to make sure I've got enough black. I'm only going to take a little bit of black. I don't want to pull too far from here. I'm only going to just sort of... Um, this is a problem here, this bit of blue here. I have to move that down a little bit. It's encroaching on my swipe colour. Can't have that. A little bit of black there. Because when I put my plastic there, there was no black on the very edge. Nearly there, guys. Bear with me. I need just a tiny little bit more black here. So extend that neck a little bit. Okay, I think that's it. I think I've got enough coverage of black. Just. Need a little bit more through here, I think. Push that black into the blue. Just a touch. All right, I think that's it. Let's do this. So I'm just going to touch the plastic into the black there. It's probably not going to be quite big enough to do the very top and the bottom, but that's okay. All right, and let's go. Nice and slow. Too fast and you'll lose contact and you'll kind of bump. Have a little jump, I should say and you'll have a dip in your painting or it'll leave a blank spot so nice and slow and over the edge and just clean that off okay how's that looking i'm going to let it wait for a minute while i just touch up this little bit of neck i didn't come quite over enough Okay, 
Now I'm going to torch. Um, I'm going to use my little guy because this is not a very big canvas. I don't want too much heat over here where it's darker, where the black paint's a bit thicker. So just torch in there and then selectively in here. Just a few spots. I don't want to do too much. I'm going to wait and see what happens. Give that a minute. Wipe off my plastic. These are great, these bits of plastic, because you can just wipe them like that. And they're ready to go. Use them again. They're a little bit heavier than just your paper towel, so I think you get a better cell because you know you're pushing the paint across the other paint to create the cells. I think I'll heated it a little bit there, a little bit too much there. Um, now I'm going to do my edges but I'm going to get a card. These little paint chip cards are great. Alright, let's just get a little bit of the black there and bring it through. I can always go again if I've missed a bit. Same here. I probably didn't, I probably should have used my bigger sheet of plastic actually. But I thought, no, it'll be alright. Do this one as well again. If I can reach over there. Okay, I think that's got it. Now I'm just going to leave it like that. The cells will um, come up into that section and it'll all blur together and it should work all right. A little bit of heat up here, a little bit more. Okay, I think that's enough. I don't want um, a mass of cells. I want to see a little bit of, you know, black in between the cells, which is pretty. Let's tilt that just to move them around, just stretch them just a tiny bit. You can do this with yourselves, it's no reason why you can't. They're not really moving very far. And I don't want to tilt too far because I don't want them to become too elongated. So what do you think? Pretty happy with that. I'll turn it around. So you can see her. Yeah, I like that. I'm just not that happy with these cells here that are overheated, but naughty me. I know not to overheat my paint, but I did. Um, that's okay. I might, um, I might try and fix it later on by just putting like a tiny little drop. Come on, drop down. A little tiny drop there, just to help it sort of Give that little round shape. And that one needs a little bit more. Just so that when you're looking at it, it, it sort of looks more of a round little cell shape. Even though it's in the middle, I think it'll still, it still draws the eye to that and makes it look round. Do you know what I mean? If that makes sense. And I'll just pop a little bit of blue in this one. We can cheat a little bit, can't we? Why not? Just help the look up here where it's closest to the head. I think it doesn't matter if the outside's a little bit blurry, if you've got a nice blob of glue in the middle. Put 
put some green in this one. Actually, where's my other green? Let's do some of this other green here. I've never done this before. This was just an idea right off the top of my head. I like it. There we go. How's that? I think that's better. Hey, it's helped it. We won't overdo it. Really like that. So once this is dry, uh, I can go over the, actually I might even do that once I'm off camera, just tidy up this black edge here and then once it's dry I can then paint this in a different colour. So there you go. I uh, hope you enjoyed that video. Let's see if there's anything under here. I don't think there is. I thought it was going to burn it again. No. Enough. Back away, Julie. We have to tell ourselves to back away and stop, don't we? All right, let me climb up onto my little ladder. Take you in for a close-up. I don't know if you can see this little dip here where my plastic started. There's kind of a little edge there, a dip where I put my plastic to, to swipe. That will all settle down once it's once it's dried, so don't be too concerned if you get a little bit of a, a dip happening. Oh, it looks pretty from up here. Let's zoom you in. There you go. I like that. I guess I could have started the swipe further closer towards her her face. A little bit maybe, but the black always drags black across first, so you get a thicker black and then you start the swipe. But no, I think that's I think that's okay. It's it's a good amount of black, otherwise it would just be all cells, wouldn't it? Mm. No, really like that. Hope you've enjoyed that. Um, I'm going to do a few different things for you soon. Um, actually, I might, straight after this, I might do a swipe experiment. Because um, people often wonder, you know, do we do a paper towel swipe? Do we do a card swipe? Do we do a plastic swipe? Um, all kinds of things. What's the best thing to swipe with? So I'm going to do a long canvas like this. And I'm going to divide it into three sections and I'm going to do a paper towel and a plastic and some thicker card and see what's better a, a really thin sheet a medium sheet or a thick sheet and see which gives us the best cells so watch this space I will be back for that one so like and subscribe to my youtube channel so and you won't you won't miss that one so I'll see you for the next video bye for now